after almost 50 years, we are going back to the moon. The new Orion spacecraft and space launch system rocket will launch from the legendary Kennedy Space Center in Florida. SLS is designed for missions beyond low Earth orbit, carrying crew or cargo to the moon and beyond, and will produce 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust during liftoff to loft a vehicle weighing nearly 6 million pounds to orbit. Propelled by a pair of five-segment boosters and four RS-25 engines, the rocket will reach the period of greatest atmospheric force within 90 seconds. After jettisoning the boosters, service module panels and launch abort system, the core stage engines will shut down and the core stage will separate from the spacecraft. As the spacecraft makes an orbit of Earth, it will deploy its solar arrays and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage will give Orion the big push needed to leave Earth's orbit and travel towards the Moon. From there, Orion will separate from the ICPS within about two hours after launch. Orion will stay in space longer than any ship for astronauts has done without docking to a space station and return home faster and hotter than ever before. As Orion continues its journey from Earth orbit to the Moon, it will be propelled by a service module, which will provide the spacecraft's main propulsion system and power, as well as air and water, for astronauts on future missions. Orion will fly past the Global Positioning System satellite constellation, GPS, and will pass through the Van Allen radiation belts. To talk with Mission Control in Houston, Orion will switch from NASA's tracking and data relay satellite system and communicate through the Deep Space Network. The outbound trip to the Moon will take several days, during which time engineers will evaluate the spacecraft systems and, as needed, correct its trajectory. Orion will fly about 62 miles above the surface of the Moon and then use the Moon's gravitational force to propel itself into a new, deep retrograde or opposite orbit about 40,000 miles from the Moon. At that distance, Orion will break Apollo 13's record for furthest from Earth any spacecraft designed for humans has gone. The spacecraft will stay in that orbit for approximately six days to collect data and allow mission controllers to access the performance of the spacecraft. During this period, Orion will travel in a direction around the Moon retrograde from the direction the Moon travels around Earth. For its return trip to Earth, Orion will do another close flyby that takes the spacecraft within about 60 miles of the Moon's surface. It will use another precisely timed engine firing of the service module in conjunction with the Moon's gravity to accelerate back towards Earth. This maneuver will set the spacecraft on its trajectory back towards Earth to enter our planet's atmosphere traveling at 25,000 miles per hour producing temperatures of approximately 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 4 to 6 weeks and a total distance traveling exceeding 1.3 million miles, the mission will end with a test of Orion's capability to return safely to Earth as the spacecraft makes a precision landing within eyesight of the recovery ship of the coast of California. Following splashdown, Orion will remain powered for a period of time as divers from the recovery team approach in small boats from the waiting recovery ship. The divers will briefly inspect the spacecraft for hazards and then bring it back home. Artemis 1 is an uncrewed flight test that will lay the foundation for a sustained long-term presence on and around the Moon.